You're watching our Just Boys show. Hey listeners, let's talk about elevating your wardrobe with some serious style. Absolutely. If you're all about expressing yourself and supporting the movement to normalize cannabis, then you got to check out the Herban Connoisseur. They've got an incredible lineup of apparel that's all about living life elevated. We're talking heavyweight chenille skull hoodies, vibrant t-shirts with bold statements, and even some sleek accessories like snapback hats and comfy socks. And let's not forget those live life elevated gym shorts. Perfect for the summertime. And they got a deal for Aegis listeners. They're offering an exclusive 20% off their entire shop. Just use the promo code Aegis, A-W-J-I-Z, when you check out. Dive into their collection of fashion forward pieces that do more than just look good. They're about making a statement, breaking down barriers, and sparking conversations. Sparking, I like that. Whether you're looking for something casual, like a gas emoji t-shirt, or something that stands out like THC logo crew socks, THC, the Herman Connoisseur, has got you covered. Check out their full range and take your style to the next level at theurbanconnoisseur.com. And remember to use special promo code AUDGIZ for 20% off your purchases. And now, let's let's get get back back to to the the show. show. What's your thoughts about divorced Afghans? The type of Afghans uh-huh. that have the public relationship and then all of a sudden they have to almost start again. It depends how many people they've divorced. All right? If you're divorcing like four wives at once, yep. then I think you're the problem. Well, if it's four wives at once, I feel like you're not the problem because they all knew who you were. Your toxic level was the same. Definitely they all not. accepted. There's no way. All right. It's, it's, it's the whole asshole thing we were talking about today. Were we? Okay. Yeah. Do you remember? Like if you run into one asshole. Yeah. You're an asshole. Okay. I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's pretty much what it is. That's exactly what it is. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm the problem. Divorce though. Is it even a cultural thing? Do people get divorced in the culture? Bro. It, I've never met. That's not true. I know some divorce. You Afghans. know some Afghans. And besides, they don't want to talk about it because they have charm. You know, they feel a what, what's embarrassed. A, why? Why is it embarrassing to get divorced? I think cult? it's it seems it's seen as a failure. It's like you try to find love and yeah. you couldn't, and it's your fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and what's worse, it's actually the girl's fault. It's the girl's fault. Yeah. Why is it the even girl's if, fault? Oh, it's always our, the girl's fault. It's always the girl's fault for our, our culture, and at the same time, even well, if, rightfully so. <laughs> Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it makes sense. We have to deal with them. They're so jangara. Yes. Jangara is uh, fighting, fightful. What's yeah. the word for in English? Argumentative. Argumentative. Okay. That's fine. That's just like what I'm throwing, but it's probably yeah. a better word. It's just our culture that our women are like that? <laughs> exactly. But what I'm saying is like in our culture, we just blame it on the women. We do tend we to blame We say like, oh, if the guy cheats, then oh, she The didn't. woman drove him away. Exactly. Yeah. So. Which kind of dope, but like I understand... Yeah, why, why do we always blame women for everything? We're like the Salem witch trials, okay. but like still going on. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's always their fault, <laughs> except for this like- Especially the ones that could talk to God. Yeah, but it's instead of like, you know, like what they would do is like, like they would try to drown them. Yep. And then be like, if they survive, they're a witch. We yep. do that, but with divorce. <laughs> <laughs> if they get remarried, they were not the problem. They were, they were not the problem, exactly. Got it. But they have a thing in like Afghanistan where it's like, you can be a lightweight husband. Have you seen this? Lightweight husband? What's that? I don't know what the term is. I There is a term, is though. Is it kuni? No. Okay. Got it. <laughs> You're just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's no, what I've heard. It's, uh, it's a thing where, like, you do all the same stuff as a married couple, <laughs> but you're not officially married. Okay. I swear it's a thing. Isn't it just, like, a boyfriend-girlfriend? Yeah, but there's, like, a religious aspect to it. So okay, it's okay. Okay, you still get nikahed? Yeah, I don't know what the word is. I okay. saw it in a movie. That's the only reason I know. <laughs> well, it's got to be true. Yeah, Even exactly. A movie nerd trivia that you're throwing out for people. I'm telling There's you, it's one a real person thing. that's going to be like, I know exactly what he's saying, and they're following you the whole time. Dude, comment if you know what the word is. <laughs> but my mom taught me about it. That's why I know. she wasn't. She didn't go through it. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> my parents are married, yeah. I think. But yeah, no. But I think the whole thing is it's perfectly fine to get divorced. I think there's so much judgment like you said on on women specifically but i think there's also so much pressure to get married people are jumping into marriages left and right way too soon and i I think there's nothing wrong with 
making a mistake. You know what I'm saying? I, you tried it and you failed. It's what's worse are the people who never get married. True. And are just 55 and sad. Yeah. Which is like kind of where I'm going. <laughs> That's kind of my path. I I, 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 I don't want to get married. But, but you're still, not the problem because you're I'm a not guy. The pro- I'm cool. You know what I mean? You're still. Yeah, Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Would you. Six inches. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay, cool. Nice. So we're rounding up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're <laughs> changing every time. Exactly. This metric. Sorry. Nice. We need a mod from Elite Cabinet installed. Wonderful reference. Nobody's going to get it. You'll see the commercial like in 20 minutes. <laughs> yes. Um, would you like. Marry someone who's married? Good question. No, no. Oh. Would you date someone uh, in plans to get married if they'd gone through a public divorce and they were yeah, Afghan? Yeah, I don't care. You I don't, don't care. care about. Dude, we've talked about but this. But tell me. In the sense of like being Afghan, don't say I'm Dawood and I don't care. I'm th- like, look at it. From I'm the saying lens I'm of David F- and I don't care. I'm <laughs> Dawood, I don't care. No, <laughs> being div- if someone got divorced and it didn't work, no, that that's not even a criteria. That's you don't not. Care I don't. About that? That's not even. I am more considered with like high body count <laughs> than I am that, and I'm not concerned with high body count at all. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So you're not concerned with two things, but you just brought up the high body count. It's less. You're more concerned with it, with but that. you're still not concerned with as it. much. Exactly, it. I'm less concerned. So you with want this. the girl to lie to you? Exactly. Got it. Feed your ego. What's the body count you're okay with? Um, is there negative numbers that I could throw out? Okay. okay yeah. Got so it. you wanted to go. <laughs> I just don't want her to like. Hold Every, you don't even want to look at a man. Uh, just like not even her cousins. I think like 20, 20, 30. Okay. But I how, think less old? Than how a, old, like how old are they with this body count? I don't know. Like my age, maybe a little under than me, like okay. late twenties or something. Sure. 40, 50. I think less. 20s, you're cut off. Is that what you're saying? No, no. I think I got 20. But hold on a me. second. Are you 40. saying that because you want good sex? I think what it is, yeah, they'll probably be more experienced, but it's also talk to me. What I'm thinking is, I am insecure. All right, I think any guy who cares about body count comes down to insecurity. That's really what it comes down to. Yeah, that's true. How insecure is your number? Do you know what I'm saying? And I think my number is 90. That's my insecurity level. Hold on a second. I think I could beat 90 men in sex. 91? That guy's. There's no way I could beat 91 guys. Got it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I see, but like, hold on a second. If you're saying that you're okay with this high, I don't want to go with this alpha male convo. No, I don't you know? mind it. What okay. go, what so, all right, let's say this. You, you like the high body. You prefer the high body. I'm not count. saying I don't. No, 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 okay. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I prefer it. But you're okay with it. I, 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 it's not a matter. It doesn't uh, bother me negatively. Sure. Until it gets like ridiculous. I think it's And then like, that comes down to insecurity. Because like I said, I can beat 10 guys. Got I it. think. She, she won't be thinking about anybody pause. else. Huh? Okay. You said you can beat 10 guys. I'll beat 10 guys off right okay. now. No. That, uh, but I am more secure that if she had sex with 10 guys, sure. they won't be thinking about those 10 guys when I'm in there in that moment. I've seen it. 20 guys, no problem. 30, 40. I don't know if I'm better than like 90 something guys. Got it. Okay. So one of those guys is going to be better. She's going to be thinking about him. But I hold can, on a second. My self esteem can't so handle yours it. Is, you're saying they're thinking about the person, right? Let's just say hypothetically. I think Number if you're not the best sex they had. Yes. You're going to feel insecure about that. And okay. I don't think that it's not going to work out. I'm with you. I'm with you there. Yeah. But the fact that they're thinking about that person, right? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you be comfortable with I think them? about that guy, by the way, when not having sex with her. <laughs> you think about her guy? That, yeah, the guy what she if told me about. That's not even her guy. Well, I still think about him. Okay, got yeah. it. You're like, Kevin Durant. That's, that's the guy I think about when I have sex with my God girl. damn it. Uh, I mean, he just got swept in the playoffs. But going back to this, Fair all right? Okay, if she Anthony has Edwards. to think about Anthony Edwards or Kevin Durant in order... I like we're choosing those black guys. I mean, not <laughs> hey, basketball players bas- specifically. But go ahead. Um, it's just because I like basketball and yeah, you yeah. like basketball. That's, that's, all, that's all it is. That's Nothing the else. only reason. No yeah. other thing makes sense. But okay, if she's thinking about Kevin Durant while she's smashing you and she's having a good time and to you, you think you're killing it, why does it even matter? Oh, that's a good point insecurity but why do you want her to tell you the truth no nah, like, no nah, you gotta be honest no you, you gotta be honest with each other just i i don't want you to fake it i'm with you i don't want you to fake it yeah but if you need to think about something else to get off that's cool that's not okay you know what i'm saying nah. i i think about other things during sex sometimes and i don't even want to but it comes in my mind and i think about it yeah. and it helps me get off. sometimes i'll do like long division so i don't have to like Come bust right this away. fast yeah. yeah nice but even then i feel bad about I it i do the counting backwards Okay, I count so, sheep. I count backwards by th- uh, three and a half. You know, it's funny. I was thinking like Afghan guys, they, can't, they count uh, goats, yep. but that makes them hornier. 
<laughs> like one good. Oh! <laughs> They're like, I remember Kandahar. <laughs> and then their buddy Omar walks by. They're like, ah! Oh! <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Don't count goats, Middle Eastern men, if you're trying not to come. Um, th- hey. Or do. Can I say something? Go ahead. What about just boys? What about just boys? What am I looking at? Oh, what about just boys? Welcome to the show. Welcome, everyone. I'm Kane. I'm Dawood. This is this is kind of cool. I uh, we're on the road today. We're on the road. We're in L.A. We're in L.A. because we have a guest. We do. It's going to be a fun episode. It should be, but all episodes are fun, right? No. Okay. No, most of them suck. Uh, if you if you've watched this far, oof. No, I'm joking. No. <laughs> no, all the shows have been fun. They've been great. You are a great co-host. Is that okay to say? Are we there yet? Okay. I thought you were the co-host. And okay. I, I think we're both co-hosts. Okay, that's better. There's no, there's no, uh, what's the word here? Hierarchy with, with Everybody hosts. Everybody comments, I'm here because of Dawood. I'm yeah. here because of Dawood. I'm here. I'm I, sure there's some. I hate this misogynist. I'm sure there's some. Can- yeah, did you, I told you about that, right? You told me about some criticism about the pod. Do you, how about this? Has your parents listened to the pod? The, my parents have listened to the pod. They listened to a, a few clips. Okay. And apparently, or they saw like a moment of it where I was talking about having a gay dream. <laughs> and my mom sat me down and talked to me. It was the worst thing. She's like, I heard you had a gay dream. And I'm like, what? From who? She's like, oh, just boys. And then she like, was like, like we just want to sit you down and let you know if you came out as gay, we would disown you. No, <laughs> no they, were, they were like, it's a, it happens. My dad was like, yeah, it happens every night. I'm like, what? <laughs> So, so yeah, the parents have been listening, which uh, makes me not want to be as crazy, sure. but more crazy at the same time. Okay. Yeah. So, neutral effect. Exactly. It okay. ends up being the same. Cool, cool. How about you? Do you have any family listening to the pod yet? Uh, to be honest, I haven't really reached out. Okay. Uh, but I know they're kind of watching, but they're kind of like, I don't know where to start. That's kind of their energy. Mm. So, maybe when I see them face to face, they'll let me know what's up. It's just always that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. I... Yeah, I don't know. I, my parents have never seen my stand-up. Well, your mom follows you on TikTok. She, did I tell you what happened? Talk so to, let's hear it. My mom, they've never been to my shows ever. Okay. But my mom found my TikTok. Yeah. Liked every single one of my videos. Yeah. Very cute. Okay. And I see, I was like, oh, my mom's like liking all my videos. I'm like, oh, she's following one person. <laughs> like, that's so cute. I look, not even me. She's just following some like arts and crafts page. Nice. Yeah. And I was like, okay, that hurts. She's following like a rival comedian that she yeah, don't fuck yeah. with. <laughs> just the Dwayne Rock the Johnson. I was, I, was, like, I was thinking like a pro Israel uh comic. You yes. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom's super pro Israeli. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks it's you. Yeah, she has no idea. She's like, we think it's, it's good humor. Uh I wanted to bring you back to the Afghan divorce thing. Okay. Um, yeah. because the thing is, like Cause, you may not know this, uh-huh. but I was actually engaged before. No. Yeah. To a I, woman? To a woman. Okay. Congrats. <laughs> what, th- oh, yeah. Oh, oh, well, you said was. So, was. okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, I was engaged with her when I was like 19. Uh, ah, damn. 20. How old was Wait, she? Hold on a second. Oh, God. <laughs> she, yeah, she legal. <laughs> uh, he was in Afghanistan. Oh, my goodness. And her father was like, two goats and do what you got to okay, do. Okay. Yeah. He did the counting thing, too. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was no, it really no. in Afghanistan? No, no, this was, this was in Canada, and she, oh, okay. we were the same age. The Afghanistan of North America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, no, we were the same age. We met in college. We met in 19. I think we got uh, engaged. Was she her. Afghan? No, she wasn't. She was oh. brown. She um, was brown, okay. She's brown, uh, uh, like Daisy type, uh, whatever, but she was Muslim. And I, I don't want to go into like too much details about who she is Fair and enough. stuff, but okay. I want to talk about something because that relationship, the reason we got married or mm-hmm. engaged, we didn't get married, but the reason that happened is because of family pressure. I was dating her for a year and a half. Oh my goodness. And my parents met her. My parents were like, oh, this girl's cool. That's Everything where you like fucked that. Up. You know? No, no, that was fine. That was completely fine. My parents were not the issue. Oh. But I my parents But you're also were... a dude. Yeah, that's it's true. The ladies that can't bring the dudes home as much. But the thing is, like, my parents were like, How come you haven't met their parents? Mm. That's what my parents were saying. And yeah, I was are your like, parents like super like progressive Americanized, Westernized? I would say they're normal Afghan, but to some people, they would think they're because more progressive. Because you were 19? Uh, well, let's say 21. I got a DUI at 19, okay. and the cops called my house, and they were like, your son just got a DUI. Okay. He hit a house. Yes. 
he was with his girlfriend. Oh, my God. And I was like, <laughs> no, don't say girlfriend. <laughs> that was what I was worried about more than anything. So the girlfriend was the issue. Yeah, the DUI. And she was like, I'll figure that out. But My, my but, parents were never. My parents were. Yeah. So they didn't want me to date ever until I was like, now they want me to get married. Okay. But okay. So that's they a, seem more westernized than mine, at least. Yes, for sure. My parents were kind of like super. Uh, my family were mo was more like homophobic. Fair enough. They were like, don't do Bacha Bozi. And I'm yeah, like, I'm in have... Canada. I try, but they're not into the, it. Yeah, yeah. They're not into it. <laughs> but, but you're not the oldest brother either. I'm not. I'm the second. So there's some, he probably broke the barriers. My oldest brother at this point was married, had a kid, and he got married relatively early, young. To an Afghan? Uh, Non-Afghan. There you go. So he broke the barrier. He broke the barrier. Okay, but continue. So, so but my parents actually didn't care about that. They're like, if you like this girl, you're, you're in love, that's completely fine. So I was like, all right, bet, no mm -hmm. problem. So I like this chick, but then when I met her family, their family's like, we don't believe in dating. Uh, you guys should get engaged as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And I talked to her, I was like, yo, we're still in college. And she's like, well, nothing would really change, really. It just means we can continue dating. So I was like, okay, no problem. So we did like a little bit of ceremony in her house and we were just Did engaged. you go to court? No. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. It was just an engagement, stuff like that. Just to announce to people that we're together, yada, yada. And then what was weird is, which, which I should have seen, they were just like, all right, so when's the wedding? When's the wedding? I was like, yo, wait, wait, hold on a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. I just did this so I can date her. Yeah, date is a word. But <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's going on? And then what happened was I met her at 19. By the time I was 23, I was not the same person. And 19 to 23 is a life changing. Life changing. You're different people completely. 100%. Yeah. I was a drug dealer at 19. I started comedy at 22 and I was like sober. Like changed. Like I was a whole different person. Okay. So yeah, I get it. Continue. Got it. Yeah. I was a drug dealer at 19. 23, drug user. You Perfect. Know, completely. Yeah, you, you graduated. Exactly. Yeah. 180. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got the drug habit in college. And I'm going to continue for the rest of my life. Perfect. Uh, Big Pharma, what's up? Yeah. So um, overall, it didn't work out. And uh, we split ways. And to be honest, like, my friends were like, oh, damn, bro. Like, are you okay or something like that? And I'm like, yeah, no, not it's, it's, it's not a big deal. This kind of happens. But they were just kind of weird that I didn't care about it enough. It's like, hey, man, you just got, like, uh, not talaq, like a divorce, but like you yeah. got a public divorce in front of people because everybody thought you guys were going to get married. Uh, and how are you going to like move on with your life? I'm like, fam, I'm 23, first of all. Yeah. All right. Did and you move on? Yeah, I, I moved on before <laughs> the relationship. I moved yeah. on before the relationship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> During the relationship. No, no obviously, like, that's, that's an insane take. Why would they? But I, I think it is. It's common like, with a lot of Muslims. By yeah, the way. but it also, it is a big step. You know what I'm saying? But I think you were put in a position where, like, you thought it, it, it was just so you can continue seeing this person. Facts. So you didn't weigh out how big of a situation it is to everybody else. Exactly. And that sucks. But also, you're here now, dude. Sure. You, it, it was a learning experience for sure. Yeah. But like, I'm a 19-year-old, 21-year-old kid. and So what's the moral here? I think Pressure your children to get married. I think that's what we learned. I think you should. Um, Arranged should, marriage is the only way to go. No, none of those. Okay. I would say... Marry your cousin. <laughs> I Nothing would yet. Okay. I, none of them. None of them. <laughs> okay. yeah, I would yeah. say you brought them to America, you brought them to Canada or whatever. If, if you want them to be successful, they have to be able to adapt to the environment. If they can't and they want to bring Afghanistan here, like, oh, you're 19, get married right away. Yeah. It's like, fam, that's not realistic. All right. As a guy, you have to prove yourself and get into a position where you can support a family. And as a woman, maybe there's certain experiences that you want to have before you're ready to become a mother. You know, things like that. Give people the opportunity to grow. You know, and at the same time, I don't want to harp on too much on this from like a woman's perspective or from the guy's perspective. What I learned is As like, two guys on a podcast. We know the woman's perspective pretty well. So you're allowed to go ahead. OK, <laughs> what I try to explain to women after they try to explain. No, to no, me, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, is that OK? What, what long story short is like if you're a young guy watching this and you're getting this pressure from your family, like, hey, you should get married. It's, it's, it's about the time to do it. I would say double down on who you are as a person and find out who you really are, what you like and what you don't like. And then afterwards, go ahead and just start meeting people and just start from there. The pressure from any side, whether it's from your own parents or the parents of the person you're dating, regardless of where you think it comes from, it comes from a positive place. It comes from love. It comes from an innocent place. 
it doesn't really matter if the outcome is the same and you're a young 19 year old trying to get engaged to a woman and you don't know shit about life. Yeah, I think there's no there's no rush. You know what I'm saying? Where we humans live a lot longer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So push it. Take your time. There's no reason to rush. None of that stuff matters. And like you said, what I, the, my favorite thing you said is like, we came to America, right? We're American. We need some westernized Facts. things in the culture, except for like poly people, all right? <laughs> if you're one of those Afghans and you're trying to be poly, yeah. don't, okay? You're not white. Don't do that shit. It's gross. Wash your feet. <laughs> they don't wash your feet? Oh, dude, they got dirty feet. They're dirty hippies. I hate them. Oh, okay. But I think it's, uh, it's about time for a quick little break. A quick little break. All right, guys, we'll be back with a message from our sponsors. Hey, listeners, let's talk about elevating your wardrobe for some serious style. Absolutely. If you're all about expressing yourself and supporting the movement to normalize cannabis, then you got to check out the Herban Connoisseur. They've got an incredible lineup of apparel that's all about living life elevated. We're talking heavyweight chenille, skull hoodies, vibrant t-shirts with bold statements, and even some sleek accessories like snapback hats and comfy socks. And let's not forget those live life elevated gym shorts. Perfect for the summertime. And they got a deal for Audge's listeners. They're offering an exclusive 20% off their entire shop. Just use the promo code AWJIZ, A-W-J-I-Z, when you check out. Dive into their collection of fashion-forward pieces that do more than just look good. They're about making a statement, breaking down barriers, and sparking conversations. Sparking. I like that. Whether you're looking for something casual, like a gas emoji t-shirt, or something that stands out like THC logo crew socks, THC, the Herman Connoisseur, has got you covered. Check out their full range and take your style to the next level at theurbanconnoisseur.com. And remember to use special promo code AUDGIZ for 20% off your purchases. And now, let's let's get get back back to to the the show. show. Hey everyone, and we're back with Medina Wardock from burkas and beer the thing with medina is she is the first afghan blogger that i personally know the first one ever and i was reaching out to her like yo i fuck with your blog i fuck with the shit that you say i love all your branding and everything and she was like who the fuck are you and just like (laughs) ignored me the whole time and then years later she's like hey i think you're kind of normal and now we have her on the pod so medina john thank you so much for being here yeah, of thanks course. for being here. Thank thanks for the bolani that you made for us. Yes, this yes, was yes, fire, by the yes. way. It's, it's I'm, I'm delicious. Like it. I'm also, really did you know I actually it. sent you a DM way before I popped off? No. Yeah, I sent you a DM. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, not like a sexual DM. I was not hitting on you. Oh, okay. I'm going to go check. <laughs> yeah, go. go, go, go but no, I might have deleted it. I'm like, uh, <laughs> it's what unsent now. Not you unsending. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm sure I unsent. But okay. I sent you a DM about it's like. I'm, okay. I was like long time listener. Or, I swear. I said, oh like, my God, don't. <laughs> I was like That's long time. Really sweet. I was like long time reader, first time messenger or whatever. <laughs> no way. How do you feel? And then I, I told you, how do you feel about this super serious situation? And, and I, then did I respond back? You responded, then you were like an article about it later. You're like, oh, I was just about to talk about that. Oh my god, this must have been like what 2015. If I read an article about ago. it, then it was definitely like 2015. It was a, it was a while sure. ago. Yeah, I, I was. I had no following at the time. I was nobody. Oh wow, that is so wild. Yeah, yeah. You want to know something funny? Let's I don't remember it. either of you ever reaching out to me. <laughs> That feels good. Thank you. I'm glad. Yikes. Hey, hey, we made it. You know what I'm <laughs> we finally got burkas and beer. We on the finally podcast. got <laughs> burkas and beer Instagram. No, but I'm also kidding. Like I of like course. love both you guys and like love what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, we feel okay yeah. about you. So yeah, right. yeah. that's yeah. fine. This is good. Anyways, yeah. what up? <laughs> but no, we're so glad to have you here. This yeah, is this is it's great. Beautiful place. We love LA. Nice. I, I like it. Can I ask her something? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah. I want. I wanted to ask you if you had a 9-11 moment like yeah post 9-11 sure did hey. anything affect you that you remember to this day? my favorite thing <laughs> that's my favorite thing afghan sits down hey how do you feel about 9-11 yeah no, 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 definitely definitely yeah. so i was 11 turning 12 okay when it happened okay uh, same age actually wait a minute okay it was the first week of of middle school okay the first week. sixth grade sixth grade yeah Damn. first week i was there Okay, yeah. and in world history, we were like reading about Egypt, and I was like, do I want to be a terrorist or do I want to be a mummy? Yeah. And like being a mummy is way cooler. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm just gonna tell everyone that I'm Egyptian. Okay. I'm not Afghan. 
Got it. I'm not Afghan. I don't know who the Taliban are. Yep. Um, I'm Egyptian. Oh, so okay. my 9-11 moment was changing my race like Rachel Dolezal. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, Afghan. So yeah. I was like, <laughs> Royal Ash. Yeah. Dolezal Wall. <laughs> <laughs> But with a name like Medina, you could go Egyptian. You know what I For mean? For sure, it's an Arab name. I mean, m my name is a is a Arab. It comes from Arab colonization. That's not a that's not an Afghan indigenous name. I see. I my see. sister has an Afghan indigenous name. It's I was saw. I was saw. Is you know. God, yeah. what, Shout did out she, my what did she do? She chills. She, she no, chilled. I mean, like, did she tell everyone she was from Afghanistan while you were saying is she older? Or Egyptian? Um, she's older, so I actually have a major gap because of the war. Okay, I have a major gap as well. Yes. So my parents had my my two sisters in Afghanistan. Okay. The war happened. Mm -hmm. They of course went to Pakistan, uh, and b because it was such like a long shower, Islamabad. They they went to Peshawar. Yeah. Were okay. you born in Pakistan? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <I'm laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know where She's that like, is. She's like Okay. All yeah. Right, all right, I don't. Right. I don't There's know a, where that is. There's a tension here. Yep. Anyways. Um, we so, love our Pakistani fans. Yeah. <laughs> or it's Pakistan. fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah, fine. Zero. Anyways. Um. Bullshit. So then when my parents came to the states, they were they literally told me this they were like we felt like your sisters didn't get the opportunities that you could get mm -hmm. and so we felt like we didn't do right by them so we intentionally like had you in the states to be like now we're oh, safe wow. let's have a child that can reap the benefits of ambika and they wanted what a son what else a doctor and then they got burkas and beer <laughs> even better you know what's crazy <laughs> i have the exact same story shut up but I am a boy, so they won. They you know won. What I mean? <laughs> so exactly, it worked out. No, I have two older sisters, both born in Afghanistan. Oh my god! And then 15, 16 years later, yeah, I'm I was. Yeah, 16 and 18 years apart. Yeah, same. Or 14 and 16. Oh, okay. So, okay. So your sisters could kind of be your mom. Yeah, yeah, for sure. My sisters definitely could be my yeah, mom. Yeah, that's wow. crazy. Yeah, we have that yeah. gap. Yeah, it was literally they were like. Third yeah. world babies. Yeah. And then I was a privileged baby. So then do your sisters have kids and are they closer in age to you? My uh, oldest niece yeah. is 20 and I'm closer in age with her than yep. even my sisters. Same with me. Yeah. Same with me. Yeah. My nieces and nephews are eight and 10 years younger than I am. I so closer in age with them than I am with my sisters. Yeah. That's crazy how like war. War just... impacts birth order. Yeah. You know, you want to know something crazy? It's kind of gross. What? Me and my sisters, uh -huh. all our birthdays are nine days apart. Okay. I that did, means that that's your parents. Wait. I, know, I did ahead. the math. Yeah. <laughs> Nine months prior, dad's birthday. I love yeah. the um, We're all birthday sex babies. How I look. How but, I but look. Let's, uh -huh. let's talk about this, right? Sure. Um, yeah. So Afghans were getting it in at a, a later age in their life. And they're sure. like, let's have kids. Yeah. Well, no, it's I mean, I don't, it's yeah. because they start so yeah. early. That's pretty progressive. It's, it's <laughs> exactly. because they start so early that they can also have it so late. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, what? I don't get it. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Are you saying that since a woman if, has already because, given birth? Okay. Because my mom was like 18 when she had her first kid. And okay. then she had me in her like late 30s. Okay. So it's like you have to start early to be able to hit the late one as well because of the biological clock or whatever. Okay, I if they're all, get what you mean. I, I have heard they of that. they started like 28, the they're all, there's no way you can have kids oh, that are I all understand. the same. Okay, okay. I, I understand. Understand. I see what you're trying to say. Yeah, but if you start at like 16, 17, and then you're, you're fucking until like 35. Sure. There's going to be some age gaps. Sure, 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 you know? sure, sure. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I, I get yeah. that. Is there an age gap between your parents? No, Mom, it's dad. only seven years. Yeah, I'm about to say. It's not bad. Seven years. Seven years. Are we related? Yeah. I have the exact same gap. Well, yeah. we might be. I mean, but yeah. I'm one of the key. We probably are. But yeah. I was like, seven years? Yeah. I think that's not a gap. That's not a major that's not a gap. gap. That's How not creepy. How old was your father when? Uh, Don't do this math. No, no. no my no, dad was 21. Back. My mom was 14. That's a gap. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that really what they think I'm married at? Yeah, yeah I've heard of that. I've heard of that. All right, all right. So, <laughs> if if <laughs> Lane, so if a ninth grader and legally allowed to drink in the states. First of all, you way. act like high school girls don't do that here, dude. Yeah. Every man. high school girl I had a crush on had a twenty year old, one year old with a car, dude. I have heard of that. Wow, they so all that's, that's every real. girl I was trying to talk to. Had a yeah. guy in college. How do you think everyone in prom got drunk? Because of all the girls that had boyfriends. Or boyfriend. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Wait, hold on a second, Dawood. What's your it, situation? What's your dad and mother's <laughs> age difference? Hers is seven. Could you beat seven? Yeah. My mom is 20 years older than my dad. Wait. No, 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 oh. No. oh my god. Come I was on. like, boy. Yeah, dude. My mom's the pedophile. Huh? <laughs> Nobody expected that. Huh? She's like one of those teachers. That's pretty cool. She was oh, a teacher. So your dad was, was cool. Your dad was cool. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, dude. My dad is sick. No, they're about seven years, I think. My dad. Oh, okay. Or 
Maybe like nine. Okay. Your dad I, met your, was, I met your parents. My your parents mom was 18, so though, when they got married. Okay, I that much. so she was a, like a good age. My dad somehow lucked out to live. My mom, age. they chawed at. My got mom it. was so young. Yeah. Yeah. Told that. Uh, they're it's, not cousins. Oh, the well, co- I'm going to... think it's good. Not, what about you? You got cousins? You came out okay, though. Did I, though? Fair enough. Thanks. So, <laughs> yeah. Was it consensual? Your father and mother's relationship? It was Whoa. arranged. Oh, it was arranged. It was one hundred percent arranged. So it was not consensual. No, my parents are cousins. Should I make handy? Consensual though to some extent. No? I mean, okay, look, I'll say this. <laughs> I don't know what consent was back. Well, they don't we talked about this. I don't know if we talked about I think it was on another podcast. Sure, sure. Well, there's no fucking word for consent in Farsi. Do you know the word? No. Uh yeah. Um wait a minute. There is a word for it. Hold on. Whatever that's the word. Sit. No. Manzur. Manzur? Manzur. That means That means consent? Approval? Yeah, yeah. Manzur. Uh like like manzur means like I accept. I believe that that's what it okay. means. How does a man ask for consent in Farsi? How does it put that in the sentence is what we're saying? Well, I'm Pashtun and we don't do that, okay. so I don't know. <laughs> well, are, yeah. How does a Pashtun how does anybody ask, Can I have sex with you consensually in our language? Uh I feel like they don't. Can, they ask their father. To kikate shema chau bokanam. You want to sleep with this person? Chau, chau. Hey, you want to? You want to go to sleep? Chobi. What is this, Bill fucking Cosby? <laughs> <laughs> In that case, Bill Cosby is innocent. <laughs> if it ended up quailu, it's kroti because you know that shit puts you to sleep real quick. <laughs> Just hella bread and kroot. <laughs> um. But, uh, okay, so I have a question for both of you guys, right? Because yeah, yeah. this applies, right? Sure. Okay. So later on in life, inshallah, you guys have kids. Inshallah, inshallah. right? Yeah. And and then you find out one of your, one of your kids... Uh, my cousin. No, 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 not <laughs> really. I don't know the math. One out. of your kids has disease. Okay, oh, yeah. Bro. We're going to get demonetized. Hold on a second. Sorry. Uh, okay, good. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. We'll say PD, oh, PDF need, opener. That's okay. what they call it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a tough okay. question. Bro. One of your kids is a PDF opener. So gotcha. would you say, hold on a second, this might be in my genetics? No, absolutely not. Definitely not. I think that... <laughs> Why not? You're, because because I, I, I think that Abkhana, okay. I think that Abkhana, that has to do with like context, right? Fair enough. Afghans in the States don't really do shit like that. Like, so at least what that I know. make it say Ajon? Ask that a colleague you make it say. Yeah. That is the context though. Listen, if you're in a society where it's normal to do things like that, yeah. then uh, even though it's not okay, Got but it. it is normal in that society, then I don't know necessarily how much blame we're supposed to put on like people who did marry really young. I think in America, if you're continuing to do that, when you when we no have better. a deeper understanding of sure. consent, a deeper understanding of like even the brain, right? Like, yeah. So I work with I work with former foster youth. I work with the age group is called transitional aged youth. They're all eighteen to twenty four. Cool. And what I learned in my master's transition? program, yeah. transition. Yeah. no, okay. they just transitional meaning like from age. like young, young, uh, you know, being young to being an adult. And what I learned in my master's program is that your frontal lobe, which is the area that we leads your decision making, whatever, know. dude. I'm saying it for people who it, maybe don't know because your entire <laughs> audience is Afghan men who maybe don't know what the frontal lobe is. Fair enough. Okay. That's Thank fair. you. Yeah. Um, Thank you. We'll so develop until you're 25. Look right? Yes. Yeah. It doesn't. So your frontal lobe doesn't fully develop into your, into your 24, 25. So you can't even make full decisions in the sense in that, some like, cases, until you're 33, like me. I yeah. <laughs> my, my frontal lobe is still. <laughs> oh, it's coming in but soon. Seriously, yeah. seriously. That's so. With that being said, I think if you're Avron in the States and you're still like cradle robbing, then like now you're creepy to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But no, I, I think I don't think that my dad was creepy to do that with my mom. I think that but that was But you're normal. saying since the knowledge is available in the West, you sure. shouldn't do it. But yeah. it doesn't mean the knowledge was not available then. It's just harder to access at the time. What are you talking about? This is 50, 60 years ago. It's, it, what, it, you, you, no, you think, think PubMed is getting a thing in Afghanistan? They have the internet, they can go uh, get peer research articles? No, that's no, everything point. you're saying is I agree. That's, that I, I don't, agree I don't yeah. believe in like savage. Like that's that's a it's a very uh, colonizer mindset to be like that they look, had the sure. Look how savage these people are. Yes, that's what I'm. And look how terrible like their traditions and all these old school. It's just like if you bomb a people mm-hmm. into the Stone Age, right? They're gonna be a little Stone Age, you know? What yeah, saying? they're not gonna be up to fucking date. They don't have time to think about their sexuality and consent. Sure. When they're when they're trying, trying to go get water and exactly. not get shot. Fair. So I, I get where you're coming from. Still gross. Either way. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah I agree. It's uh, 
Yeah, it's a it's a hard take. It's it, but it's also it's like let's be real. Yep. If slavery, <laughs> we have to go there. Sure. Was a thing. Ta- most and we had the money. Yep. I think most of us would be slave owners in this room. We all like to think no. Wait, I'm so sorry. Wait, what did you what? just Are say? Are you talking right now? <laughs> First of all, don't say that to her. Okay. Second, yeah. No, secondly, I no, am part of that, sir. You, think, you, are, you think probably if you all lived are. in the slavery time <laughs> and you had the money. Yep. You wouldn't own slaves. Okay. You, think you, would, you would think you'd have the moral fortitude I, I understand to be what like, you're you saying. know what? This is wrong. Got what? It. Oh yeah. The point. No, I Fuck understand. that shit. Dude. I understand like, what you're saying. The ball, like, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, but let's be real, dude. Got Most it. people are fucking followers. I yeah. know myself. Well, it's just, it's just context. That's why context matters so I much. I have jumped people I had no problems with in a fight because my friends were doing it. One yeah. hundo. You know what I'm saying? One hundo. I would Me too. do terrible things because of the context. I I, we all like to think that we're morally yeah, ahead yeah, of yeah. times. I get it. Let's yeah. be real. And the same thing with the Afghans, unfortunately. It is they, it is a symptom. It is the a sign Afghans? of the, the Afghans. You're yes. you sound like a colonizer right now. First of all, I am a colonizer. You mean Hamwatano? Hamwatano, bogo. First of all, I'm the, the AFGs. Yes. <laughs> That's a gang, isn't it? It used to be FAG. Ooh. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Fremont Afghan gang? They were Fremont oh Afghan gang. And they changed it because of the obvious reason. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, because honestly, that's the most terrifying thing, though, if you call their stuff FAG. I yeah. mean, yeah, <laughs> nobody, nobody. Oh my God, run! I can run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 for it's sure. It's the Pashtun gang coming along. Uh, uh, rude. Uh, no, no. It's more kind of hard thing. Rude. Well, yeah, thank you. Okay, Definitely wait, is. no, sorry. No, no it's, it's just always interesting to see as an outsider to be like, oh my God, like, that's the normal over there without having the cultural context sure. to get it but like um i mean i know pe- like my parents their age difference is like three years okay nice were they born yeah. were they married here no, they're, they're, they're over there. there yeah over there yeah, nice. i was born there so okay. i i just think right. that yeah born. yeah i guess I, so oh, we'll yeah, yeah maybe you guys, we're you guys, no, wait, but you guys are pushed in too right no no my no, dad is talk, like some half i think but oh, we're okay Lee. we're tajik Oh, right. but maybe it's because we're Pashtun. Yeah, yeah, we're Yeah, yeah. you guys what are up? just like, you guys are cut. Are Pashtuns the whites of folks. Afghanistan? So I have heard Good question. that comparison. And I think that you're looking at it, whenever people make that comparison, you're looking at it through a Western lens, an hour, a Western understanding of race. Yeah, right? Oh, okay. So a Western understanding of race comes from American history. So yeah. could you say that Pashtuns are the whites of Afghanistan sure you can in the sense that like they have like when it comes to intersectionality we are in the top of the food chain yes but only within Afghanistan because then when you automatically just go to Pakistan the most droned people are the Patans are Pashtun yeah yeah and so when you're when you're thinking about the the war and like the past you know 20 30 you can you can argue for 40 years Pashtuns have have um gotten a lot of casualties because of where they live right yeah, the yeah, south yeah. of afghanistan and the north of pakistan is where pashtuns are and that's where the war is mm-hmm. so for instance i went to afghanistan shukur i had the opportunity i went to afghanistan in 2018 oh cool and yeah and when i went i could only be in kabul because i couldn't go to wardak i couldn't go south because that's where the fighting was yeah, yeah. so see, people I who see. were dying were you know mainly pashtun mm. well to be fair most american soldiers in this country are white so uh so what do you mean by so that? like what like like we even the playing field exactly what i'm saying i'm <laughs> saying most of the people dying for this country are good are white blooded because Americans. from my understanding a lot of there marginalized are, folks okay, joined the army because of you know of circumstance min- yeah that's yeah right. there's a lot of minorities just because of like scholarship programs one hundo yeah so it's like it makes sense that i yes. think i don't I, I one of my buddies actually i mean canadian sure uh the Being Canadian a, Army dude? Yeah, the Canadian Army. He just apologized the whole Canada time. Kind of Donistan. Exactly. Like, so uh, he, he was Canadian getting paid, story. I think, $800 a day. Oh. Canadian. Wait, say that again. Sorry? One of my buddies joined the Canadian Army. Sure. He was getting like $800 a day. Oh. For like when he was training. The day Which he was is like training. 100 That's not US. bad. That's yeah. like really good. Yeah. No other place was giving him that type of money. And yeah, then I was like, all bad. right, yeah. all right, bet. But I, I do want to go back to your the earlier conversation we were sure. talking about the age gap and everything. Yeah. It sure. ties to your recent post. You said what? block celebrities or something uh, like that. Can you say that? I, I, th- I said, I said, that, but I, I'm glad you brought this up. Thank yeah, you. I want to talk about it. I said block celebrities, I'll not you your why. blessing. So what does that have to do with the age gaps? I don't Hold know what to do with the age gap. There's a great segue. Okay. Yes. Uh, I don't know what to do with it. What, what do you think? Oh, dude, I don't follow any celebrities. Okay. So this was like easy for me. What celebrities would you block? 
I'm ready to block all of them. That's what I'm here yeah, for. Who yeah. should you block? Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I think. Well, okay, so that is so sad. Dwayne me. I Rock Johnson. I loved The Rock. You saw his post today? So much growing up. No, I didn't see it. I don't. I don't know that is I want to even. Israel? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of, of course, course it is. is because yeah. He's Israel. a pander. Jinx. Dude. He's the yeah. most pander. Wait, what did he post today? It's like they have the right to defend themselves and like. Okay. Yeah. And they talk on both sides. Yeah. Oh man. It's yeah, just, it's just a very both sides the argument. Uh, but who who are we blocking? Who who who's their go to? I, Styles? I don't like that guy. I no was no I was that. thinking. More I'm so sorry. Like, I'm still I'm still did really sad about the Rock. Harry Styles. I don't know who that is. Okay. I have yeah. heard of him. I don't really know who he is. One Direction. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One Direction. My I don't, into that. I don't I've really never care. like looked up to celebrities like that. So gotcha. this means not, I'll block everybody tomorrow. Oh no 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 no! Yeah. no. I will say I worshipped Kim Kardashian for a while. Oh. And yeah. let me explain to you why. Tell me. I worshipped her not for the reasons that most people she think. A lot of like. I think as a woman. SJW shit that she's done. Not even that. Oh, okay. I worshipped her before that. Okay. All right. Okay. When I say worship, I, I what I mean is I think I as a woman to Yeah, she's helped the black community a lot. A lot. I think as a woman to I didn't hear what you guys were saying because I was so into the sound of my own please, voice. Please, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because I thought you were going to talk about how she's helped the black community with like uh -huh. talking to Trump and like getting sure. out of prison. We made a joke about how she's helped the, helped the black community. In other ways? Because of sex tape and all oh, the guys. Yeah, she right. She had yeah, one yeah, of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. She had a sex yeah. tape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she must have. Okay, yes. She, she did. She did. She did. Got it. She did. I gotta check so it out. I liked her before because she is one of the most hated people on earth and she doesn't give a shit. Yeah. And so just for that reason I, alone, I'm with you. I'm with you. I've always been like, wow. And then the other thing is I really, I really think that <laughs> she put. That's why? <laughs> yeah. That's a good reason. That's a good reason. No. So if Hillary was like, yes, queen, you'd be like. I'm no, that's different. <laughs> no, no, no. Hillary is one. Of, first of all, Hillary. Yeah, Hillary. Is Hillary. Oh. <laughs> Same thing. Hillary Clinton. Same thing. Same thing. No. Okay. Hitler doesn't exist today and doesn't have social media. Okay. Fair enough. But if he did, if he was yes queen, be like, I don't care that you guys all hate me. No. <laughs> as a, you I know what? That vibe. You know what? Maybe, maybe I no, empathize. No, no, no. Maybe I empathize with Kim you? K a little bit. Oh, okay. So thank God. You said I, Kim think K. Though, as as a, a, I think the Afghan blogger. Point, though, if Hitler was trans, we'd probably give him like, let's see what he I didn't you guys say, say that at all. Continue with your thought. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Anyways, continue. What I'm saying is I... Kim Kardashian, you maybe, liked her. Maybe I, maybe I empathize a little bit with Kim K because as an Afghan woman who okay. is public in our community, I have gotten bashed left and right. Mm -hmm. And so maybe I see Kim K and I see not necessarily a little bit of, you know, I, I'm not identifying with her per se. But what I'm saying is she, you know, she's also our, she's half Armenian. Yeah. And I have seen the way the Armenian community talks about her. I've also seen the way like the world talks about her. True. And I think... In some senses, she did break barriers. Like the beauty standard at that time was like blonde, skinny, tall, Paris Hilton. Yeah. That's true. And she came on the scene and like really like flipped things around. Now, with that being said, I don't F with her now. Yeah, I think yeah. that she should have really done more. She did um, fly out a plane of the, the Afghan um, engineering team, the all female okay. engineering team. Oh, the she, robotic team. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. She yeah, flew them all out. Be like she was responsible for 9 11. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she was. Yeah, it's, she flew it's them uh, all into a yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she did. Um, yeah, yeah, she did. No, but um, but no, that actually, which is cool, makes she, a lot of sense. And, yeah. she did, and she didn't tell anyone about flying those girls out. I think she's done know? a lot That's of great cool. humanitarian work. And yeah, I think what you yeah, what you said about her being. I think she's not afraid to be herself. Yeah. And I think that's really commendable. Yeah. Her current takes on what's going on, especially now. With, she, as an now I think she's background, shitty. Yeah. It's it's kind of like it's they terrible. Have, they have genocide. You know yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, well, and, and Armenians and Palestinians really f with each other because there's a yeah. huge Armenian community in Palestine. Oh. Yep. Huge Armenian community. That's unfortunate, the, dude. They, yeah. Wherever they go. Exactly. God damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 But, so that's that. I'm really enjoying this um this yeah. build that I made. Um, I thank you for those takes, but can we take a quick little break? Yeah, sure, little of break? course. Okay, yeah, awesome. That's fine. We'll be back with more Burgers and Beer and the Aja's Boys. Hey, listeners, let's talk about elevating your wardrobe with some serious style. Absolutely. If you're all about expressing yourself and supporting the movement to normalize cannabis, then you got to check out the Herban Connoisseur. They've got an incredible lineup of apparel that's all about living life elevated. We're talking heavyweight chenille, skull hoodies, vibrant t-shirts with bold statements, and even some sleek accessories like snapback hats and comfy socks. And let's not forget those Live Life Elevated gym shorts, perfect for the summertime. And they got a deal for Aja's listeners. They're offering an exclusive 20% off their entire shop 
just use the promo code AWJIZ, A-W-J-I-Z, when you check out. Dive into their collection of fashion-forward pieces that do more than just look good. They're about making a statement, breaking down barriers, and sparking conversations. Sparking. I like that. Whether you're looking for something casual, like a gas emoji t-shirt, or something that stands out, like THC logo crew socks, THC, the Herman Connoisseur, has got you covered. Check out their full range and take your style to the next level at theurbanconnoisseur.com. And remember to use special promo code AUDGIS for 20% off your purchases. And now, let's, let's get, get back, back to, to the, the show. show. I was thinking a lot about the dating process between Afghan guys and Afghan girls. If I'm just dating a girl with no intention to marry, <laughs> Medina, <laughs> should I stay away from Afghan women? Yeah, 110% because... But I find them attractive. That's wait, fine. Wait, are Afghan women not allowed to have fun? Like sexually? No, they are allowed to have fun, but not with Afghan men. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Fair thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not with okay. Afghan men. Look, listen. If an Afghan woman is with an Afghan man, yeah. <laughs> you know why you are with, together. For marriage. <laughs> For marriage. And we all know it, and don't act like you don't. Okay. So don't waste their time. Well, tell me this, all right? Why? Why not? What the fuck? No, wait a minute. This is a wild you, thing. You, you don't th disagree with this? No. We should you got to protect our sisters. No. And you have yes. sex with your sister. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, I get it. Take the Adam and Eve approach. Is that what you're trying no, to No, it's more just like, why, why are we put them on a pedestal? No, we treat them the same way we treat any other human being. Okay. Well, I think that, I think that, look, I think if you have a conversation. Yeah. As long as you're honest, yes. As yeah, honest, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you mislead them with marriage yeah. and then you fuck around, yes, that's wrong. Yes. But if people, Afghan women and Afghan men could be horny together and sure. understand that this is not going to be... Okay. Uh, there are allowed to be in situations. Sure. I agree. I, I actually do agree. I guess what I mean is the initial it, it's intention... Like it's one, it's never like that. It's never like Two, that. Two, the yep. initial intention for an Afghan woman... Typically, okay. Typically, I'm with you. The initial intention for an Afghan woman to get in a relationship with an Afghan man is marriage. Okay. So it's gonna be very rare that they're like, "Ooh, let me get in this situation with have this you, guy from Kabul." No, 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 no. Slow down. Have you met these modern Afghans that are all over TikTok and stuff and throwing thirst traps left, right, and no, side? No, because I'm not on TikTok because it confuses me. Okay, let's say Instagram. All right, we're throwing. The, it's the same concept, but I'm saying there's multiple generations now in America, in the West. That's so weird. Oh, I can't believe it. Right. So since they're everywhere, yeah, they're pretty much the. Uh, uh, you know, they're just adapted to the local environment. You know what we talked sure. about earlier. So, but are they like second or third generation? Usually, second or third. Second yeah, okay, yeah. so so like our nephews or nieces, and then okay, exactly. Gen exactly. Z essentially. Sure. There we go. Gen Z Afghans. Okay. Uh, and born in the West. Sure. So why, sh to Dawood's point, great point. Sure. Why should I treat them any differently than an Asian girl I'm dating? You shouldn't. Look, look. You shouldn't. I okay. think. I think. I think that. I think that it's okay. All women matter. Yes. This is what we're trying to say. Don't ever yeah. say that again. Sorry. Afghan women matter. More. That's, that's yeah. what she's trying to say. They, right? Okay. I don't mean the all lives matter, guys. No, no, no. All <laughs> women matter. All right. That's worse. You know what that is? <laughs> Contextually, there is just something deeper about doing things like that with an Afghan woman. Yes. I believe. Okay. And what I say, what I mean by that is like, because our community is so small. Yeah. And because you can put two Afghan on a room and you'll figure out how they know each other or are related. Facts. There is just so much more at stake for that woman's reputation. Okay. And so I think even if that woman maybe believes that like, you know, I could be in a situation where I'm like, you know what? I just want to be in a situation ship. Let me get with this Afghan guy. But the social ramifications might come out years later. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe in that moment I'm like, yeah, let me date this Afghan dude because I am in this, you know, phase of my life where I want to do this. And I'm doing it with full awareness and, and that's fine. But yeah. maybe years later, his fucking cousin marries my cousin or some shit. Okay. Because our community is so small, yeah. It's almost like asking it's almost like asking the question of like, would you get into a situation ship with people who live within a five mile radius of you? And most people would say no, because that shit's messy. I see what you're saying. Yeah, you don't want I would disagree. You, you don't want to the friend the friend group. It could just be messy. Af Afghans are just a giant friend group. Yeah. yeah, and you don't want to. You don't want to ruin the friend group. We're a WhatsApp group. 
Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, I never use that, but oh, I okay. do. Okay. So I, 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 let's say I consensually talk to an African girl. Sure. And, and like she's. Thank you for saying consensually. Yeah, yeah. I had to. I had to. Yeah. It's not just a DM and burkas and beers. Uh, uh, burkas uh, and beer. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's There's not like, S? Oh, okay. Not only well, today beer. it's beers. Is it burkas? Burkas and okay, beer. Okay, so multiple burkas and then one beer. So how about this? Okay, more repression, less it's party. Burka <laughs> and burkas and beers for because now we're anyway. Involved. Continue. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. What I was trying to say is this: like, if I'm talking to an Afghan girl and she's cool with me just dating her as is, right? And then all of a sudden I tell her I'm going into a career that's not a traditional career. Okay. And now she's not following. Now she's like, wait, hold on a second. I get it that we're just dating or whatever, but I still. It's kind of like I need to get clout from your job. I need to make sure you have some sort of stability, things of that nature. But is your guy's goal to get married? N I, Why would she care about your career unless you guys are going to get married? That's a good point. That's a great point. But I feel like an African girl won't just be with you if you're just kind of fucking around with some. If if I am just effing around with a guy and I know that I'm not going to marry him, I don't give a shit what he does. You don't care what he does. I don't give a fuck unless as he can pay for he, dinner. You mean as long as he's successful? As long as he can pay for dinner, I don't give a shit what you do. If I'm gonna marry you, then maybe I care what you do. I, okay. So let's uh, let's get a little. I feel like I I didn't get a lot of love growing up from the Afghan community, especially the women. I they, did, they were not interested in me. I Thank was you, too Weird, I guess, or Americanized, or just not. I wasn't. Yeah, because you're free Monty. Unfortunately, you were in a community that was very that was very uh, conservative. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, I, I, I yeah, L.A. Afghan. You know what I've always believed? That the more south you go, the more liberal they get. Dude, those Mexican Afghans? Damn. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Those Antarctic <laughs> Afghans. <laughs> Man, those were... Yeah, they're they're atheists. Yeah, they just look like penguins. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I yeah. really do believe that. I think, okay, I think, so you I think, think yeah. I grew up in, for the Bay Area was uh, significantly more conservative. So the Los Angeles so Afghan viewpoint of the Bay. So where do we find these of the Afghans that you're talking about is what we're trying to say. Say that again? Where, are you, where do we find these liberal Afghans? Uh, Orange County and San Diego. So these, so I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't want to. I don't want to like, just, you know, start a beef between the Bay sure. and the OC ones. But from my experience, the OC ones they are tend to be more liberal, but they also tend to be so much more whitewashed. No, not way. whitewashed. They want to be Persian. That's There's a difference. Worse. Really? That's way worse. No, it's, it's yeah. the yeah. Persians are whitewashed in yes. themselves. Yes. So it's like a degree of. <laughs> it's like throwing bleach in and then like. Putting in the dryer too long. It's like, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. you're whitewashing and then shrinking as well. Yeah. It's just okay, weird. well, the reason that Bay, Air, Bay Area Afghans get to remain so Afghan is because there's so many of you. There are so many of us, yeah. So then when you go to, because I used to live in Orange County. I went to UC Irvine. So I mm -hmm. lived there. I was in Irvine for one year and then Newport Beach for another. I and I understand the the eventual assimilation into becoming Persian. There's so many Persians there. For yeah. sure. And then yeah, if you're yeah. a Farsi Zabon, it just yes. becomes... Easy. It was the same thing in, in the Bay Area, where there, like in Fremont specifically, there were so many Afghans, yeah. like the the Mexican kids. You can Afghan? They all were like Afghan. Wow. Slang, Afghan slang oh, like, if wow. I could see a Mexican kid saying like "bachim," like I would Bro. like pay for that shit. I've, I've seen a lot of Mexican Mexicans, and, Mexicans and black kids. We all be like, no, nah, no. For us, it's the opposite. I'm a Valley What's kid, San Fernando Valley. Me. What does yeah. that mean? So, what does that mean? What being a San Fernando Valley kid? Yeah, like it's what is? Valley, yeah, so, like, what is LA your like? My experience is. I was born and raised in Van Nuys, California. Van Nuys, California is a very Mexican neighborhood. And so, and my first language w was Pashto. Yeah. So when I learned English, I learned it with a Mexican accent. That's hilarious. Can you still do it? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> can you do, can you say something Pashto with a Mexican accent? No, I wouldn't. I was not speaking Pashto <laughs> with a Mexican accent. When I learned this. English, I would be like, Hey, bachin, I mean, up, I, I still say like, orale, wey. like I still yeah, say shit yeah, like yeah. that because that's, that's how I learned English. Got you, got I learned you. it from the Mexicans that hey, I grew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I'm much. Canadian. I can't relate to any of this. I know. Yeah. First, no, first, so first time I see a, saw a Mexican person, I came down here, which yeah. was like two yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I then know. I'm like, what is this Indian guy doing here? <laughs> yeah, why is this Indian guy? I felt like Christopher Columbus. Yeah, why is this Indian guy saying? Wait, he said he felt like Christopher that's actually really funny. Yeah. That's that's like, what's this Indian guy selling a lote for? <laughs> right, 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 right. Well, he wouldn't even know what a lote is. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. A lote, I was on a 24-hour a lote diet until <laughs> I was like, you know, old enough to know better. <laughs> exactly. It's so, interesting. So the point I'm trying to make is the chicks, the Afghans, especially the women, did not fuck me growing up. Why? Oh. But why? That guy just wasn't like the fuckboy Afghan that they were into. 
Maybe I was a dork. I don't know. It could be a lot of other reasons. Okay, sure. Okay. But now. Now because you have clout. With the comedian thing? Oh, the, they're all up in your DM. It's wild. So like this Ooh. whole like they don't care about profession thing is like. Is I, I'm wrong? I, I think so. They care so no. much about profession and clout. Well, no, like, you don't they care Vali, about clout. You don't think Vali, the Afghan singer, is smashing Afghan Be people? Be Be he is, exactly. He's using a bar yeah. stool, but he's doing it. All right? No, no. <laughs> he, needs a ladder. he needs a ladder to eat the girl out. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. He's definitely Yo, the type of guy that would put that he's like 5'10 on his I would, profile. Yeah. And then you see him in person and motherfucker's 5'6. Yeah, I hate yeah, that yeah. shit. Exactly. Nah, he's As fucking, a tall girl, I hate that shit. He lives in Europe. Yeah. He uses the metric system. He doesn't know. Yeah, because he's not. Wait, whatever. I'm not also, sure. I was okay. blonde first, okay? Yeah. I don't want you anybody. You were. No, you were. I don't want anybody to be like, you're copying Valley. I was blonde. No, the, the, wood, the wood cemented the blonde I am blonde Afghan, Afghan number one, <laughs> yeah. okay? Except for all the blonde, like the natural blonde okay. Afghans. We tried to genocide Shout them. out Which, my Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay. Shout out like half my family. Yeah, yeah exactly, bro. We're Greek. Okay. Parts of us are great. Yeah, yeah. Alexander the Great got uh, in there. Uh, but uh, John, I thought you. I think you bring a great point. All right. Yeah. Can I add to this? If that's okay, I'd like to shift the conversation a little bit. Sure. We, because we are in the presence of Medina, Brooklyn <laughs> and beer. All right. And our audience so is mainly Afghan men. Yeah. All right. That's correct. Yeah. So a lot of it. Uh, okay. And okay, go ahead. we, I got you. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? We try to that. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, Medina, I would like to say this. Could you tell me, uh -huh. either yourself or other women, sure. Afghan women? Any criticism you have of Afghan guys? Let's yeah. say Afghan guys in the West. Uh, let's open up this can of kudu. Please tell us, tell us your yeah. thoughts and your friends, whatever they say. Yeah, and, and we'll try to explain why they think like that. I think that the majority of Afghan women that I know do want to be with Afghan men. I think that ideally they would like to. I think that the like. Just the overall feeling like you yep. own Afghan women is an issue mm -hmm. because you don't. And also like, you know. Explain why. <laughs> why you don't own us? Yeah. Because we're. He's joking, he's joking. I know, I know <laughs> he's joking. I've, I've known Kane long enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just difficult because, of course, a part, a part of you wants to keep your culture. But then, you know, another part of you is like, why the fuck would I put up with this bullshit? You with True. your family, with everything like yeah. Afghan men are very coddled. In the West, in the West. No, yes. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, Afghan men in the point. West. The good boys. point. Great are point. very coddled and don't really like, maybe don't have an exposure and, and treat women differently based on race, which I think we do too. Like Afghan women do that too. Yeah. Right? And would we treat them better or worse? Like, um, uh, like I, I don't know that it's better or worse. I think it's it just different. different. Okay. Yeah, I think it's different. What now, you know, having an Afghan male audience, what I would say is I don't think that Afghan women hate Afghan men. Like, cool. I think that there is that type of perception or that type of like maybe on social media you see that and you know a lot of afghan men are like you know f feminism because look, look at what it's doing to our women yeah. i i don't hate afghan men okay. i actually really love afghan men and care about them Got it. and i believe that afghan men's mental health has been so not even thought about and because it's not thought about it's easy for us to hate on you guys pause again you're saying you like us but you're also calling us do Explain this. I didn't say they wanna. You said mental health. Automatically, I'm defensive. No, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Hold on a second. So yeah. Please explain something specific. I think we're not allowed to express ourselves, right? Just like, just like most men. It's, is she yeah. saying that our toxic masculinity goes oh, yeah. down way deeper and is way heavier on us? And because we have free snap, yes, I, I don't want to agree with you is what's making me upset. That's like, <laughs> I, want, I want to be the devil's advocate, but I'm like yeah. fucking woke right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, our toxic yeah. masculinity goes deep enough, so it, it tends to... The thing is, the patriarchy yes. tends to hurt men just as much as it hurts women. It hurts men more. It hurts, okay. I'll, I'll so, so, so there's actual research on this. There's actual research that shows that... We do have a higher, not Afghan men, but men in general. Suicide. So suicide rates. Addiction. Addiction. Yeah. We lose in Mental family Mental health. Court. Yeah. All of that is lower because men don't ask for help. There, there's no, you know... And they shouldn't. It's lower in men or lower in women. The reason that men have lower... The, the reason the that reason men die sooner, yes. Higher suicide rates. Suicide rates. No, what is it called? Life expectancy. Yeah. The oh, reason that men life. have lower life expectancies is not anything biological. It's all social. Interesting. Because men are less, you know, inclined to have like a strong support system. Okay. When when I'm going through some shit, I got ten girlfriends who are gonna help me through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. You get it? Yes. You guys keep that shit inside. That's true. As we should. 
Yeah. Whatever. Never. Don't ever tell your boys your feelings. Yeah. That's you sound kind that of shit is right good. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. yeah, yeah. And then just like try heroin. First and then just like die. Yeah. Like, like hey, that's better. Don't knock it That's try. better. Don't knock that's it better. That's you better, got, right? If you, sip, yeah. if you sip and lean, it might work out for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I agree. Yeah. Men bottle it up, but also yeah. men get shit done because of it. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't. We work really hard. Like for, what? We, okay. What do you life. get done? I'm, I don't want to be that life. guy. We're okay. not doing this. The yeah. Eiffel Tower. Exactly. <laughs> who, who built that shit? Huh? I'm hoping it's me. You should have said the Taj Mahal. That's more culturally relevant. Eiffel Tower is what I picked because I felt like less. It's smaller. That looks like a bunch <laughs> of barbed wire just knotted. Okay, yeah, I, I hate the French. Yeah, that's why. I they suck. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you. I understand. Men bottle their feelings up, and because of, because we're not, we're supposed to be tough. We're supposed to be masculine. Like, we have yeah. all these traits. We're supposed to be the breadwinners. I think if on Afghan us. men all got in touch with their emotional side, which Afghan men are so emotional. <laughs> so yeah. emotional. The to most emotional. Girls. With their girls. The they are. No, no, no. In general. Okay. In general, that's why we haven't been able to sustain a country yeah, for how many years. Afghan women are super rational and not emotional. And yeah. actually, we are literally. So what, what, is, what keeps that country together? Where does the word come from, by the way? Do we? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I, I now think, I don't know either. I, think, yeah, I don't. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Me be like, I don't know where China comes from. I don't fucking from. know. Hey, I'm fucking calm. <laughs> okay. Afghan women are rational. That's actually really funny. That's actually really funny. That's hilarious. That just that's actually really funny. What I'm trying to say is. If Afghan men got their mental health right and just got in touch with the parts of them that they don't want to see, yeah. more Afghan women would be inclined to yeah. love them, be in relationships with them, support them when they're down. Like, I say this because my dad, Khuda Babakshish, Babakshish, was such an amazing emotional person. Yeah. And it was like, he, he gave me a spotlight into Afghan masculinity. Okay. He was married very young and he had three girls, okay. you know? So as an Afghan man, I was able to just kind of witness the way that he moved through situations and people being like, you know, you don't have any sons and da 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 da. He was so in touch with his emotional side and he made daughters that are really in touch with their emotional sides. You know what I mean? So like, I, yeah. so what I want to say is Afghan women don't hate Afghan men. We yeah. just wish that, I, wait, hold on. I'm not going to speak for all Afghan women. Yeah. 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 Pretty, as an Afghan woman, I just wish that Afghan men treated themselves better fair enough and okay. I, I think i agree i, I, agree. I disagree with both of you guys i i will but, say this though Dawood, please go ahead let me let me jump in real quick jump in i think everything you just said about the uh, toxic right masculinity, right. yeah oh, i think that afghan women perpetuate it more than anybody what do you mean oh toxic men oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah for i sure. think they expect the, uh, their afghan men to be Let's a certain way this. you know what i'm saying they expect them to drive a bmw to be the breadwinner to yeah i agree get, afghan women want to be they don't want to be. They're they're graduating at higher rates and everything. They're getting they're getting jobs, but at the same time they expect. The thing is, they're getting rid of gender roles at the same sure. time, expecting men to fulfill those gender roles. I hear you. So it's they're putting double the pressure on men. Great yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. That's a great and point. And it's like, I understand everything you're saying, and I understand the the patriarchy hurts men, but women are a part of the system in a way that they are just as complicit. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't say that they're just as complicit. You're right, more complicit. <laughs> <laughs> they are complicit. I don't yeah. know that they're just as complicit. I think that I just don't like all the responsibility being just on the men. Is what it is. I think everybody. Expects, did, I, did I put all the responsibility on men though? You didn't, but at the same time, there is. I'm not saying you do it, but so that, so, so yeah. this is the socially thing, right? the change is socially gonna definitely there is. I, I think so. There yeah. is a lot of expectation on men. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you have you guys heard of bell hooks. I'm not familiar. No. Okay, so Bell Hooks is this uh, incredible. She passed away. Um, she's an amazing, like, intersectional black writer and, like, you know, whatever philosopher. Yeah. Cool. And she came up with this book, this book called Communion. Mm -hmm. And in that book, she talks a lot about how, uh, like, Western feminism got it wrong. Yeah, yeah. White feminism. White feminism. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. It, it, essentially, that like white feminism posited that we don't need men when yeah. like yeah we need men like exactly. we need each other right 100 and that but that also that like sure it afforded women all of the same rights as men but it still maintained the expectation that we are going to be the caretakers and the nourishers so like women have to like go to work and then also come home and like breastfeed do you get what i'm saying like like yeah. it put so the same way that you're saying that about men mm -hmm. where there's that expectation that like we expect you guys to be amazing and whatever whatever yeah. same thing with women right where it's like i want her to be educated but 
She's going to be the one doing the dishes. She's going to be the one child rearing. We both. Point. Well, yeah, I yeah, would yeah. think that. be the one child rearing. No yeah. 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 Because. because <laughs> That'd be weird if. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? So it I can understand. be said both ways. Yeah. That's fair. And and I don't adhere to one ideology over another. I think it. I think it depends on every couple and every family and whatever yeah. works works. Look look, my my mom was one of the first female accountants in Kabul. Oh, oh shit. dope dope. She. You know, she got the numbers wrong often. I'm assuming. Yeah, 100. Ah, yeah, ah, definitely. Ah, <laughs> you asshole. That's so good. Anyways, please. I was get thinking it. of like a CPA pun the whole time, but you, that was better. No, no, yeah, it's it's. Fine. So she, you know, she spoke Russian, Pashto, Farsi, English, a little bit of Urdu, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my dad like supported her through her wanting to go to school. Okay. Okay. My dad was like a big Afghan feminist. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I think he has helped me. Like their relationship has modeled for me what like it could work. Oh, okay. for sure. You know what I mean? Like it yeah. could work. Where I don't like I think we're just arguing that same sex marriage is the only one that works. We're <laughs> <laughs> not being like, hey, <laughs> women and men are never gonna work together. The, the reason I think that we're harping on this mental health thing so sure. much is that. We're in a position of privilege. Yeah, and we yeah, can yeah, for sure. Reflect and say, oh my God, look at us. We are, uh, we're depressed, we're sad, or we're toxic. Let's fix these things. Yeah. But Afghan guys, especially with a lot of Afghans that just came into the country, they're like, go, go, go. I need to provide for my family. 100%. I don't have any time for Have this. you heard of Maslow's hierarchy of needs? needs? Yeah. I was literally about to say the same thing. Yeah. Please. So, you can explain. You say it. Yeah. Pretty much. You have, you have to fucking, there's different levels of needs, right? Yeah. Feeding and eating and all this stuff. Once that, like, if that's your fucking priority. Yeah, it's a level. pyramid. Think yeah, of a yeah. pyramid. Got the it. first level is your biological needs. Sleep, I'm eat, with you. fuck, cry. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Those, so, those, those, that's the first I don't level. Know cry is in there. Especially if you're a guy. It's, yeah, it's I, in I, my I, level. <laughs> well, I need more of that need. All right. <laughs> so what's his name? What's the guy's name? Maslow. Maslow. I need Maslow John. More Maslow. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's the, like, there's sure. different levels of this pyramid. And once people are able to get to, like, the top, that's, yeah. like, self, self-actualization. Okay. Yeah. And then you can worry about your sexuality. So, so now, talk Then to you can me. figure out if you're non-binary or not. Exactly. Until uh-huh. you get to the top of that pyramid, yeah. that's not an issue. Until you know then, you're saying? straight. That's actually not true because the, the Middle East had... A Go. lot. Of, the Middle East has a very long history of being very gender fluid. Okay, I think the gender fluid is oil. Is that the you're talking about? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the only fluid they care about in the Middle East. What are you talking? About? <laughs> uh, wait, really? There's a lot of like non-binary people in the Middle East. Yeah, before colonization. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, right. there was a lot of openly uh, gay Afghan poets. Uh, Rumi just, was like was possibly gay. gay yeah, if you listen to Rumi's poem, you're like, this guy. He's talking about Shams. Does. He's talking about Shams like he's he's down for that. First yeah, of all, just because a guy yeah. is in touch with his feelings doesn't. See, this there is we exactly go. the point. Okay? Thank you. Our Don't man is in touch with his feelings, and now he sucks dick. That's <laughs> not how it works. No, I'm, pretty sure, straight, no, I'm pretty sure that, that he's like said he that was he was in love with I feel like I feel like maybe not a bottom. Yeah, that much. I, I, I don't know. know. That. <laughs> but that's not gay. Right? Yo, read some of his poems. You're like, oh, so poetic. Yeah. And then you're like, wait, what is he talking okay, about? Also, he's before talking anybody about says anything, top. before anybody says anything, say, because me s- as a Pashtun, people are always like, oh, like, like you're Pashtun. Like, you don't get to talk about Tajik stuff. Or yeah. da, 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 da. I did my DNA test, and I'm part Balkhi. So nice. I do get to speak on Rumi, just saying. Is, oh, that's what's Balkhi? Is that what the, the Rumi? Rumi is from Balkh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's so like I'm where it was. There, back apparently, then. according to my DNA. Like yeah, the central the area either. where like everybody it. would. Nah, fuck that. Because I'm sure I have an uncle who's done something terrible. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, they, they keep your DNA. You they know? do. And like, that's how the uh, Golden oh. State Killer that's got caught. That's how the Golden State Killer got caught. Yeah. Because his relative put his his DNA in the system and yeah. then some like, you know. So I'm not getting none of my Ooh, uncles caught. You that's know what I'm saying? I'm sure I have a, gra- like a grandpa. My uncles uncle. will get caught with or without my help. Yeah, I don't want him to be like, the Kandahar Killer got caught because I did. Because <laughs> I did it. You know? The Kandahar Killer. Kandahar you know, Killer sounds, so, sounds we've badass. Asked, we've talked about this before. Talk when was the last time you cried? Last time I cried? Oh my God, I don't know. Yesterday? When was the last time you cried? Uh, do, you, do you know why you cried? Are you comfortable saying? Yeah, Not that I awesome. saw a bird. Just existing? Yeah. It was so cute. I saw, I saw a sad movie. <laughs> yeah, I haven't cried in forever. Oh I've been trying God. to cry. It's been like years. Yeah. Yikes. I, I cry every time I think about my, my grandfather who passed away. Dude, every, you know what's crazy? Every time I, I think gra- about your grandfather, I laugh. So it's right. Oh, really? Okay. 
That's good. What else? What else do you do? Toba. All right. Toba. So talk to you. Toba. Talk to you. Toba. Toba. And hashtag Afghan men's mental health. I'm not even... <laughs> 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 it's like he's a, he's a funny guy. That's why. His grandfather? I don't know. I'm oh, here. I never met your grandpa. Yeah, I've never met my grandpa. Wait, uh, are you all right, I'm back. I, I wanted yeah, to. Uh, I wanted to <laughs> I'm upset, but we'll we'll get back to it this. It worked out. Anyway, so uh, uh, you think about my grandfather and you start laughing? No, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Don't with the sock after the spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just beat me up. <laughs> You're taller than me. You got me. Um, no, no, okay. Thank you, Medina. I think that that's that's a great point. Sure. I think uh, I I know we're pushing back a little bit. Yeah. But uh, it's just like we know there's a lot of African guys listening, and a lot of them are like, we don't have the opportunity to like even think about our mental health because we got all this other shit going around, like providing for our family and a lot well, of. Well, you can you can take care of your mental health while you're providing. Um, uh, you, you don't need to, you don't need to pay for therapy and go to yoga. Just be self-aware. Just like, yeah. th think about how it you. It a little against the hierarchy of needs though. You know what yeah, yes, it does. So, no, no, so, 100%. So let's go with the hierarchy of needs. Let's get them Afghans in that position, especially with a lot of Afghans coming in from a Their top recently. hierarchy, the need is like non-akush. Non-akush, <laughs> Bolani, and Bolani. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the other thing I was going to say is, is there other criticism? Because here's my thoughts about Afghan guys. As an Afghan guy, the way I see the Afghan community, I'm like, wow, there's so many beautiful, educated Afghan women in the West. Yeah. And they all want to marry an Afghan guy. Why do I have to be this great person? Because I can just be toxic and overall they'll come back to me. I because hear what at you're the saying. end of the day, they have to come back to an Afghan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can say whatever. If anything, I'll be like, hey, I'll I'll leak your nudes. I'll do all this shit. Yeah. And like I can even dive more into the toxicity because I'm just like, you say no, I got another girl. I yeah. got another girl. Just because yeah, I hear what you're Afghan saying. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so especially if I'm an Afghan guy and I'm relatively successful. Yeah. The moment I'm so successful, now I'm almost allowed to be toxic. Yeah, 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 for sure. So what's your thoughts on that as an Afghan guy? Ex convince me why I shouldn't be toxic to Afghan women. Empathy? <laughs> Next. <laughs> why well, you shouldn't be toxic to Afghan women? When well, I'm a rare do you do you like do you like the fact that um you don't control your own country? Do you like the fact that you've allowed your women to be raped and exploited and treated like shit for the past hundreds of years because I so many out less. outsiders I could care less. come in? I'm in the West. I've assimilated. Okay, so you're in the West. Okay, gotcha. I'm in the West. Okay. Talk to me. Okay, why should you care about not Especially being Especially if Afghan girls are like, we need to marry a, an Afghan guy. And, and another thing is this. I don't know, do you like your life? Yeah. Okay, so do you want your, do you want to live longer? Yeah. Then don't be toxic. Because when no, you're toxic, I, it literally shortens your life. Okay, toxic to Afghan women specifically. Okay, but I'm a great guy. Being That's toxic why all to the Afghan women specifically like me. Could, just means just being toxic in general. No, right? no, 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 because uh, Afghans, we're master manipulators, all right? We're like drink. You know why you shouldn't be toxic to Afghan women? Because maybe her cousin will come and, and fuck uh, your shit up. Because that's maybe fine. she has some toxic Afghan maybe, in her life. Maybe on the way when she comes, up. I convince her that you were wrong, and all of a sudden we're smashing. Explain Excuse that. Excuse me. That is a good. Smashing point. the Afghan guy cousins. No, sorry, I thought you said no. Oh. Cousin. Which, yeah. I think that's that's a great thing what you're saying here is toxic Afghans keep other toxic Afghans in check. They do. <laughs> so they so do. you can get another more toxic Afghan no. to beat your ass. And then he's the top of the toxic if chain. If somebody Fs with my shit, my cousin's gonna come F with your shit. And you don't want my cousin to come F with your shit. There's a lot of effing of shit. There's here. a lot of effing of things, yeah. But okay, let's say you specifically, I will mess with. I'll make sure that the girls Why? I'm messing with, that their cousin Why? I could take. Why? You know, I just want to, <laughs> I want to plan this out properly. Fair enough. How about this? Talk to why, me though, with John. Why would you do that? Do what? So, what you're saying. I understand you're, he's asking why you shouldn't do it. I'm asking why would you like What's to do What's the that? benefit of being a toxic man? He exactly. explained it. What, I, what is the benefit? No, I curious. just don't have to fix myself, which you said. Like, Fix yourself kind of thing. Be self-aware. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying what's the incentive? He doesn't have to put in the work to be I a better person to. because a Afghan women are going to want to be with an Afghan man regardless. Yes. What he's saying is the bar is lower for Afghan men by default because of their nationality and ethnicity. Got you. Especially if an yeah, Afghan yeah, guy is successful. I'm saying this Afghan well, guy is successful yeah, in that case, yeah. on yeah, paper. There's no reason to grow ever. But also, and listen, like I actually get what you're saying because because I know a lot of really successful Afghan women This is not single. Who thinking. are who are with Afghan men who are not that great, but because they're Afghan, that yeah, adds points. point. it does. But also, the inverse is also true. What's wait, 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 what? There's a lot of Afghan guys 
who are good men who have, are educated and they're with these women who don't do shit. Who are you talking about, bro? It's very rare. It's very rare. It fucking exists. It uh, exists? I've seen it. You see it? I'm not going to call out names. I, I know it. people. I see. <gasps> but it is a thing. Okay. Names. Yeah, but it's a thing. It's I just, I don't like that. So the Afghan women are being the toxic one in the relationship? Yeah. 100%. Dude, they, they want to be treated exactly the same. You know what I'm saying? They want to be all the equal rights and all this stuff. I feel you. But then they fall exactly the gender norm. So do you think there's going to be a woman who is like, yeah, I'm aware that I'm toxic. I don't want to be treated the same. Of course, everyone wants no. to be treated the same. No, they like want to be treated better better yeah sure. while doing by while bringing less while being that especially if you less. have like this inflated ego yeah you think you're the better person in the relationship you're like that person when the other person is punching yeah exactly, exactly. there's a lot of ugly dudes yep. with money with Facts. Other chicks. <laughs> exactly and the other chicks are just as toxic if not i think they breathe they eventually the toxic whatever you're finding will find the toxic Woman, there's toxic sorry, so on sorry. both sides. Okay. Yeah. And eventually they'll find each other. But I want to say something to your point. Karma. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, go ahead. I want to add to this is that I've talked to a lot of Afghan women that are like, I'm meeting a lot of good, nice Afghan guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Successful. Cops. Exactly. <laughs> they're, they're simps. Soft, they're soft. You ever, and they, beat, you ever beat a man? The Afghan guy who's just like, I love this woman. She is everything to me. He gets treated. He gets treated the worst. Facts. No, no, no. That okay. is a fact. Okay. Have you guys noticed this trend? Let's hear a it. lot of the American uh, Afghan American women who marry Afghan men from Afghanistan. Have you noticed how romantic those guys are? Are they? They're so romantic. They're like, so, I'm so cute. Glad you're not because a they're child. like, I really need their citizenship, so I'm gonna yeah. talk about how ah. snow white you are. Yeah. Like, like, do you mean like that temporarily romantic? No, thing? actually, I know a couple of couples. I think it's cute. Yeah, it's yeah. really sweet because you know it's strange. Like Afghan men in Afghanistan, typically the way that I, at least in my experience, they're very sure. romantic and like yeah, really, also, yeah, they're romantic. more in touch with their feminine. But no, but it's not romance. Right? Part? Yes, all fob Afghans are a little gay. They're yeah. a little... <laughs> No, you're right. Yeah, but isn't, isn't they that, are. They are. Isn't that romance part of gender norms and the patriarchy? Like, why is the man have to be the like the guy like the trying to like seduce the woman? You know I what I'm saying? Just look at the animal kingdom. That's no, how it's always the process. The animal kingdom. They fucking because we go through enough. They rape in the animal kingdom. It doesn't make it. No, okay. no, no. Because we you go know? through Let's enough. Let's talk about ducks We deal right with now. enough. We deal with enough. Okay. And we actually. Like the second I step outside, I'm expecting a very you know hostile, cold, at, like you know terrible world, and so. You know, I have to put on this front. Yeah. And so it's really nice whenever a man can be like, hey, I'm just not all about using you or effing you. Like, I really want to make you feel better. and be Oh, like a gay guy. Got it. Yeah. Okay. No, no about... because gay guys are toxic AF. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All my gay friends are messy so as you hell. Can't, you can't lose it. But as a fob Afghan, we're fed in to this whole Bollywood love. So yeah. we believe in romance. We believe in that. It's so but cute. I'm going to tell you my experience. No, but I, it's not all right? cute. It's Why? not it's, because it's, if you take it, sorry to cut you off, yeah. what you're going to go there is that once you're like, I believe in love. I believe that the first girl, if I dedicate everything, everything to her she's gonna love me back but every guy not even just afghans has this story where the girl's like you like me too much and she moved on or she just treated you like shit there's until you see that being romantic and being obsessive there's a difference oh between my being God. romantic and being you call um, him obs obsessive if he's ugly if he's good looking he's romantic why would i even be with somebody if they're not to my beauty standards fair enough God. Sorry, I'm not gonna. I'm never gonna be hey. with someone, and look, hey, I, I don't look back at any of my exes and say, "Oh, they were ugly." No, yeah. I have eyes, motherfucker. I, I know what, 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 what I'm getting into. Yeah, I. I but also, I don't. I don't does does uh, physical features matter as much for women on a man? Um, I, I can only speak from my experience. I yeah, can yeah. say you that. Want say it again. You want to date an ugly person if they're like have a really good personality or something? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just say that. When enough. I grew up, when I grew, when no. I was growing up, I had an idea of who I wanted to be with. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you had, you had an idea of who you want to be with. When, when I was were... growing up, okay, I'm a tall woman. Okay, got you. I'm almost How five nine. I'm almost five nine. Five nine. So tall. You look five thirteen. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Canadian. I grew up. No, I grew up no. being like, <laughs> I want to be with a person who looks like this, 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 that, that, that. Sure. Right. Yeah. Got it. And then as you age, it's like, even through different parts of my life, I feel like my, who I'm attracted to has changed. Okay. Fair enough. Maybe people that I was attracted to in high school, like I went to high school, I was, I was in Van Nuys High School, okay. by the way. I don't know if you guys know this. 
Um, I like to say this. I was the homecoming queen and class clown. Oh, oh shit. shit. We did not know this. Homecoming clown. You never seen that. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> class queen. Okay, class yeah. queen. Okay, yes, I was also the, the morning announcements person. Oh, my God. So I was one who was like, good morning, Venice High School. Today on By the way, lunch thank you for the yeah, you would just yell. Thank You're you. You're welcome. That and the good. bologna. You like it was, too? I love delicious. the bologna. The, the cucumber. I can still be a good Afghan woman. We never said you couldn't. Yeah. yeah but yeah, anyways. See, you're a class clown, and you're the uh, homecoming queen. And yeah. she did the announcements. Yeah. She did the announcements. The announcements be like, hello, Van Nuys. <laughs> Allah! <laughs> I was just going to say. I was just going to say. Just every day. <laughs> Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> I was just going to say the announcements were like, brothers and sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Today we have witnessed. <laughs> Could you give us a broadcasting voice? Give, can you, do you know, do you remember yeah, one of your An extreme offense to other people. What? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember one of your announcements that you gave? Yeah. You Good morning, Van Nuys High School. Today on the lunch menu, we had meatballs and spaghetti. Oh my God. How did you no, sexualize that? Not spaghetti, meatballs. No. Meatballs <laughs> and spaghetti. Sexualized. It's just, it's very like, an anchor. You, they should do the uh, song like that. <laughs> Good morning, Van Nuys High School. On June 16th, we have the prom fashion <laughs> show. Dude, say that, but go, Allah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Good no, morning, no, no. Van Nuys High School. We, we, we still want to go to Saudi. <laughs> we still want to go to Saudi. Yeah. Do we have the in that voice would be so sick? Dude. Yeah, it would be amazing. Off the pod. Off the pod. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, scared. But, okay, so you, you're, ta- you're talking about, about your high school history. What's up? Because of your uh, concept so, of what so, a good-looking so guy was, was as a kid. School, so do you subscribe to, like, white beauty standards? Like, European beauty me? standards? Me? Nah. Oh? Nah. That's, I don't think come so. On. What are European beauty standards? Being attracted to a white guy? They don't exist to me. Jawlines? Wait, jaw- jawlines are very J- Afghan. What are you talking about? Not at all. Have you seen our celebrities? I have, have a beard. Seen... I have a beard for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> hey, both of us. Both yeah. of us. We have no. Why yeah. do you have beards in our culture? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Y'all are... Pashtuns are generally like a normal ass nose. You, know, you like Afghan noses? Oh, I love crooked noses. Yeah, okay. we're, we're back. Okay. okay. No, no to me, I'm like you got character. I like I Afghan see. features, but, but my like... daughter is probably gonna get a ride of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you like broken people? Do I like broken people? I'm yes. a social worker. I love broken people. I make money off of them. So maybe we're, you're not the right demographic that we're asking this kind of question. But we think Afghan girls in general do tend... I, I've asked a lot of Afghan girls, sure. and they're like, the guys they like is that dude from Captain America. Who's Captain America? Ca- uh, Chris Evans. Chris Evans. The, no, they, who yeah, the fuck you, are you talking to? Afghan girls are born here. Afghan girls are born here. No. Afghan girls are born here. Captain Afghanistan. What are you ta- who are you talking to? Because... As an Afghan woman, sure, maybe I'm like different yeah. in the sense that maybe I have different ideas from like, you know, what the general Afghan female demographic thinks, whatever. But I'm in tune with a lot of Afghan women. And yeah. I promise you that most Afghan girls that I speak to are attracted to Afghan men and want to be with Afghan men. But, G- but Gen Z, Gen X, millennials, but circumstances who are you talking have about? changed that for them. Yeah, well, it's also not their fault. Circum- Assimilation, right? Like, yeah. Uh, like, so, I grew up around like, Filipino and Asian people, like, I find them very attractive. Got I also it. like Afghan. I also like I like everything. I'm pretty open minded. Got you. You're pansexual, right? No, no. I, okay. I hate pans. Okay, yeah. got it. Well, um, those bolognese were made in a pan, though. So. Oh, nice. He's that's, pansexual. That's, that's, that's a little bit of a bar. Yeah, I'm cool. a sapiosexual. Oh, I hate that fucking word because it's not a word. I'm sorry. You I'm don't a just homo get... sapiosexual. <laughs> <laughs> I love humans. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably be wrapping up though. Uh we we, uh, we should wrap up, but uh thank you, uh Medina for yeah, being part of this pod. Yeah, we, uh, you're you guys are so lucky. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> we are. Respond to that DM I sent you from like eight years ago. I'm gonna scroll up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hope I don't sent it. Well, okay. we we've had a lot of conversations since, since then. then. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna scroll up and I'm gonna screenshot it and then I'm gonna post it and I'm gonna be like, ew, Dawood wouldn't name are such a creep. Look at that. Yeah. It's yeah. a deep pick. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a long time reader, <laughs> short time dick. How are you doing? So, seriously, thank you guys. Thank, uh, yeah, you, thank guys. you guys. Thank you for the bloody. Yes, her, of you know, course. Of course. That's so much fun. And, yeah. like, you know. I think it was. It's not very often that I wear um, Afghan clothes and like make bologna for Afghan men. So thank yeah, you. I really thank appreciate you so it. Yeah, so, I had so much fun. Yeah, we thank we you. love your perspective on everything. Um, yeah, it's wrong, but it's it's, it's, <laughs> nice. it's yeah, it's yeah. fine. I love shouting at Afghan men. <laughs> That's fine. That's what you so, did. Yeah, yeah. Mainly. yeah, we're into it too. We, we yeah. didn't or hear any of it. Yeah, we're into it. We have this kink. <laughs> you yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, like, you guys love being fucking told what to do. Don't. Hundred percent. Exactly. Every every man wants a woman like their mother, right? Oh, so yeah. I, so I love And Afghan being, moms are crazy. Yeah, I love being hit with uh, a chop block. That's my favorite. Yeah, man. Nah. Yeah, nice. But 
I think we should we should respond. Uh, just real quick, uh, Medina, where we can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at Burkas and Beer, cool. TikTok at Burkas and Beer. Even though I don't really have a lot of TikToks, that's fine. That's cool. Um, I'm mainly on IG, so you okay. can find me there. Wonderful. And follow me there because then you can see my upcoming work because there is um, in the mix. Just really quickly, say it in Pashto. Say something to the uh, Afghan men that are Pashto. Why should they follow you? Why should they follow Just me? Just in Pashto. Assalamu alaikum, Roruna, Tasa Tingi, Katagoriche. I can't say it in Pashto because I forgot the words. If you want to see the rest, Katagoriche, Ma follow a key, Instagram to Larsha, add Burkas and Beer. Tasa Bewu and Isha, Norshayan, she's a column. What the fuck? We don't know what the fuck she said. She just like, there was a lot of phlegm in there. Uh, but Mr. All Dunn, your grandfathers. Okay. Oh, wow. Spoke that language. Okay. Were you like, but, but, anyways, uh, Miss, Mr. Dawood, uh, you got some dates for us. Yes. Uh, I don't know if this is going to air, but I will be in Toronto, I think. Oh. June 22nd. Toronto. So. I can't even say it like that. All right. Well, yeah, Toronto. 20 seconds. Uh, I'll be in Toronto. Tickets are on sale on my website, on my Instagram, everywhere. June 22nd. Uh, June 22nd cool. to Saturday. Amazing. Uh, oh, my God. My birthday is June 23rd. Yes, I'll be there, too. I'll come to Toronto. Oh, fun. Yeah. yeah. Good to meet him. And you guys can meet me. And if I'm, like, rude to you, just don't talk to me. Like, just yeah, leave me alone. Have to do that. Just get away from me. Uh, so, well, thank you so much. All right. All right. Cool. Bye. It's been fun. <laughs> You're watching our Just Boys show.